right, so we are at Black Sands Basin. And there is something erupting right in front of us. The cliff geyser. It looks like it's in a pretty constant state of eruption, which is kind of cool. Another pool over here. Really pretty. This is the green spring. Oh, got some some steam. But uh, there we go. And it's got um, the river behind it. It's really neat. So right after the spring, you will across the bridge. And then you have the option to go straight over there or go left to there. Either way, you're gonna see both. We're gonna go left first because there's less people. I think it's a lot deeper than some of the other pools we've seen. Sunset Lake. All right, last trail of the day is the Upper Geyser Basin. There are just like all kinds of turnoffs and things to see, but there are a ton of geysers. Um, I don't know if we're gonna actually see any of them, but here's hoping. Yes, well, that's what they say in California. Okay, so first junction, the left is just a viewing area for Beehive um, Geyser, which is that little guy up there, which you'll have an opportunity to see a little closer on the other side of the boardwalk. For now, we're gonna take a right. And this is, I believe, Firehole, um, Firehole River. Chinese Spring. Amazing. Yep. 
Chinese spring. Continuing up the path, there is the Old Faithful Inn, the visitor center, and Old Faithful, along as well as all of the geyser chasers, so I think what they call them. <laughs> this is Blue Star Spring. And there is a note to remind people that throwing objects into the pools is illegal. So there's Old Faithful. You had all the people down that way sitting waiting for it. It's supposed to go off in the next, I don't know, 15 to 30 minutes. You got more people there waiting for it. Why is nobody sitting here waiting for it? Because I'll tell you what, this looks like the best view of all of it. So if you're looking for a good view with nobody around, I check this spot out. I mean, this is the runoff. This is this is the runoff from from the geyser right here. So I think this is a great spot. So there's the visitor center. Again, Old Faithful, all the people waiting. Um, so you make a left here to continue on the trail. So if you come from the visitor center, or if you park in the visitor center area over there, because we parked in the inn, because that's where we're staying, um, this is where you would start the trail. So we just passed the observation point. Um, it's a half a mile, one way, 200 feet of elevation gain. Um, and it takes you up just for a view of Old Faithful. But we didn't really need to see that since we saw it last night and had a great view. Um, there's also a great view right here at this next junction. Um, so there's lots of great views of Old Faithful. You don't have to necessarily go up to the observation point. See? So at the geyser loop, we decided to continue straight and we will do that portion over there on our way back because this is a somewhat of an out and back trail. Um, the observation um, loop, uh, you know, takes you somewhere up in there, but there is another geyser up there that you can see, um, but we opted not to go up there, so we will not be seeing it. It's a little baby geyser. That's what they call it. <laughs> we have a couple more over here and some folks sitting waiting to see if they erupt they might be in the eruption window for those or I take that back they're watching Old Faithful it's just another viewpoint for the most famous geyser in the park because, like I said, they're everywhere. Oh my gosh, you should see the amount of people waiting for the eruption. It's a lot. So coming up here, we have, let's see, Vault Geyser. Oh, that's cool. And Giantess Geyser in the back over there. And this cool looking, almost looks very, feels like it should be in like a fantasy movie. This is called Tea Kettle, Tea Kettle Spring. So not a geyser here, but 
still really cool. And then I have even more stuff over here, although it doesn't look like any of this is named. It's still really, really neat. Oh wait, I, I, I lied. This one has a name. This is the Pump Geyser. Wow. So this is the Pump Geyser. We just happened to be here when it did its little eruption. Very quick, very quick, and then it's done. Still super cool. It's the sponge geyser. Just to give you an idea of how close all of these are, there was the geyser we just saw erupting right behind us. And there goes Old Faithful. Oh. There we go, there's Old Faithful. Showing about three minutes before her predicted time. And it erupts every two and a half to five hours. One disappointing thing about a lot of um, these basins, I will say, is that there is no information about each of the geysers. It's just the name. So this is Beach Spring. Oh wow, it's like super clear and cool. Um, but I do wish that there was more information like we just saw over there at each of the geysers that kind of talks a little bit about how, uh, you know, what type of geyser they are and when they erupt and how they erupt, you know, what type of eruptions they have. But unfortunately, we don't get that information unless you look it up online first. So at the next junction, this is actually the observation point trail um, that connects back to the boardwalk. So you're not going to want to take that. Um, you're going to want to continue along the boardwalk and, um, and then at the next junction you'll make a right. But before you get there, there is another geyser or um, pool or something up here. So it's a spring and it's called Ear Spring because it looks like an ear. So I know that it says Ear Spring because it looks like an ear. But it also kind of looks like a penis. It does. Alright, so at the lion group of geysers, that's where you're going to make a right. Uh, we will revisit these geysers. Oh, look, that one's, that one's spouting off in the distance. Oh, 
Well, it was for a second. But we'll come back to, to the lion group on our return. So we just passed two unnamed, or a few unnamed pools. This is Liberty Pool. It's pretty gross. And just keep walking by. Hardy geyser. And finally on this loop is the Belgian pool. It's really pretty. So we went past a sign for the rift geyser, but there was nothing there. This is West Triplet Geyser. Doesn't look like it's doing much, but this guy over here hasn't stopped going. I think he just erupts full time. This is the Grand Geyser. You know, I bet this is what he does all the time, but then when he has an actual eruption, it's probably huge. are scheduled to erupt tonight between 9 p.m. and midnight so we won't be seeing it but the pictures are pretty grand but <laughs> okay so grand guys her I actually think is like over here not doing anything and then you have turban geyser which is the one that's sort of like bubbling up and then vent geyser is the one that's while constantly venting. Um, so I didn't realize there were three geysers all right here, but there are. Yeah, so I think Grand here, Turban, and then Vent. This is the economic geyser. I really want to know why it's called that. Would be nice if there was a sign other than just its name. <sighs> yes, I will find something to complain about. My feet hurt, so leave me alone. The Wave Spring. Again, I wonder how it got its name because I don't see any waves. It's really cool looking though. the chromatic pool and it's mostly orange it's still really neat though especially right now it's got all the reflections and stuff in it it's very pretty a little bit further next geyser on the trail is the oblong geyser And we're walking through this really pretty meadow. We've got those summer clouds and something steaming in the distance. A couple somethings. 
little turn off to giant geyser, mastiff geyser, catfish geyser, and bijou geyser. if this is something erupting or if it's constantly in like that state of like spurting but I didn't hear it earlier and there's a whole lot of steam happening and it stinks like hard-boiled eggs oh I think this one's just in a constant state of spurting warm. So this is the Grotto Geyser. Woo! Oh my gosh! continued down the bike path the grotto geysers there this is spa geyser and we are gonna take this little spur here to Riverside geyser a couple of these little unnamed springs along the path and the Fire Hole River here. And the Riverside Geyser is going to be right up here next to the river. Captain Obvious with the name there. There it is. You do have to use the restroom on this trail. There is a, a um, pit toilet right here. So we're heading back to the bike path now. We're gonna make a right. There is um, one here, um, which we'll see on our way back. There are a couple more this way. mortar geyser get some sputters out there from fan geyser a little pool here that I think is another actually I take it back here's the pool had to get off of the boardwalk to see that um, but this one here is spiteful geyser it's a harsh name and we're gonna finish it up here at morning pool or morning is a morning pool or morning glory pool some glory. morning glory pool um, you could continue um, down this trail over here to the right. And that will take you all the way towards um, Black Sand 
and biscuit basins. Um, there are a couple of uh, geysers on that trail as well. We will not be seeing them today though. Unless you're going to continue on um, to the last three sites on the um, back down to the highway, um, this is where you would turn around. Um, so stinky. Um, and um, we are going to take the bike path back because there's a couple of sites along the bike path that we would like to see. So we are going to do that. So this is the chain lake. Chain lakes. I think there there's more down there, but you can see right here is where we came off the Riverside Trail. Down there is Morning Glory Pool. And this is the Chain Lakes. Geyser and a couple other sites. So this is Daisy. Daisy Geyser. one here is Comet Geyser. And the last one over here is Splendid Geyser. is one of the more popular geysers because it goes off every few hours but I'm not sure when it's supposed to go off next. Okay, so here's the junction. That way will lead you back to Daisy Geyser. This way leads you to I think another geyser. Punchbowl Spring. To, I'm sorry to a spring to Punchbowl Spring um, and then you can turn around and go back. Spring is at the top of that hill. Bacteria pool on the way. There's also this meadow, which is more like, it's more marshy um, than meadow. Lots of dragonflies and butterflies and other bugs that I don't like touching me. First junction, it's a little loop. I'll take you up to see the spring, and then you just go back. And you take the bike path all the way back to either the inn or the visitor center, whichever one you parked at.
I am going to go back to that portion of the geyser loop that I didn't see yet. My phone is about to die. So this is where I will depart you.